My name is Tom Toothaker. I'm a physical therapist at the Orthopedic and Spine Center. Well, I've been at OSC since 2011. I actually right out of, uh, right out of physical therapy school. This was my first job. Uh, over the last six months, uh, or about six months ago, I took over as, as the director of the clinic. I got into health and fitness when I was in the, uh, the military. So I was in the Marine Corps right out of high school. Uh, it was, uh, I didn't know what else to do in life. My dad was in the Navy and said, you might want to take a look at the, uh, the military and see, uh, see if that's a route you want to take. So I did it. Uh, but Marines, their fitness is a, is, is a big part of their, um, their lifestyle. And I realized how unfit I was when I joined. So I got into working out and exercise, things, and I was like, hey, I love this stuff. Been talking to my buddies, and I actually, when I, I, I was a military police officer at the same time, so it was a route that I started to take. Realized I didn't really want to do law enforcement, but I gained a respect for law that I've never had before um, by doing that. Uh, but I also got into the health and fitness side of things. So when I got out of the Marine Corps, I did personal training. Uh, and then from there, I just, it didn't seem like that was going to be my career. So I, I kind of looked around for other options. There was physical therapy clinics that were um, attached to a lot of the gyms that I worked at. I said, hey, what are you doing? And uh, I'm a PT and I'd see these people walk in and do what they're doing. And I was like, that seems like my cup of tea. So I'm, I'm helping people out. Uh, some of these people have never worked out in their life, right? So now they have a problem. They have to come, they have to do rehab, and they find out, oh, by the way, there's actually stuff you should be doing for the rest of your life, you know? And so that's kind of what led me into the physical therapy field. When somebody comes to physical therapy, like I said, a lot of times they, they don't want to be here, right? So they finally have to be here for two or three weeks or four weeks, you know, there, there's something that happened, and uh, whether it be an injury or, or on the flip side, they had surgery and they know they need to be here. Um, in both instances, though, there's something that happened that drove them to finally see somebody, right? And so you've taken that person with whatever the impairment is, and you've now got them to the other side, whatever it was, you know? So whether it be getting back to uh, their, their, their sport that they like to play, or like the gardening, or whatever it was, they can now do it, and you helped along that journey. That's huge, you know, that's powerful. And especially the ones who didn't want to do physical therapy in the beginning, and you could see them dragging their feet, but all of a sudden, you know, they got a little taste. It felt a little bit better. They didn't, uh, it didn't hurt as much when they did whatever it was. Actually, they gained a little bit of motion. And next thing you know, they leave, and they're like, wow, that was a great experience, you know? And now their, their vision of physical therapy has changed. So outside of work, I'm, I'm very active. So I, I love to exercise and train. I've, I've been uh, very heavily involved in functional training, something called CrossFit. Uh, I'm also a, a coach or I have coached in the past, I've kind of taken a little break, life got busy, but I'm still very, very involved in that. But I, it, with CrossFit, I've also done a lot of local competitions. Uh, they're, they're a lot of fun. So, you know, when you play a sport and you're younger, you get older and you kind of stop playing that sport, but you still have that competitive um, aspect that you, that you like. CrossFit kind of brings that back. So you're working out, but, but in a competitive atmosphere. So, you know, you're, you're, you're bringing back that feeling of, of doing a sport with other people and you're high-fiving each other at the end and, you know, everybody sweat and did the same thing. Actually, it didn't matter if you came in first place or last place, everybody had a great time. You know, that's what's neat. And actually, the last place finisher usually gets the biggest, uh, the biggest um, um, ovation or the, the biggest. So I, I liked to play sports. I moved around a lot when I was a kid. I, uh, I went to 13 different schools by the time I graduated, yeah, three different high schools. Um, so I want to blame that on why I never made the basketball team because I was always the new kid on the block. But we'll just say probably my skills maybe weren't up to par too. And that's very possible. Uh, but I love basketball. Uh, that would play that all the time. But I would also play like rec league sports for baseball, um, you know, um, um, and, and soccer when I was really young, uh, but never for, for an actual school. Love to travel, so uh, Stephanie, my wife, and I, we, we uh, pick a different place every year to go to. Um, this year, in about a month, we're going to Miami, All right, so I'm getting excited about that one. Um, that's because I am turning 40 years old. Yeah, I don't know if that should be in this one. All right, <laughs> um, which is crazy. I uh, to think that that's that's happening. But anyway, and we've been to Miami before, but not this this part of Miami. So looking forward to that. So yeah, love to travel. Um, we've got two cats. And I love cats, right? So, you know, you've got the dog people and the cat people. I'm a cat person. I'm not ashamed to admit it.